The market value of pot would go down, down, down if you legalized it. And supersize it right now, now, now. Four thousand dollars an ounce. That's way too much. Four hundred dollars an ounce. That's ten times the blunt. We need to smoke a little more pot, right? <laughs> right, right now, now, now. That huge profit margin would go down, down, down if pot were legal for the needy people. Right now, now, now. Doesn't lead to harder drugs. No more than cigarettes. No, absolutely not. It leads to happiness. Apple Fanatic here. Um, I'm going to make a tutorial today on how to use i11. Um, I'll make another one on iPhoto, and if I figure out how to use GarageBand, um, I'll make a video on the tutorial on that if it doesn't confuse you more because honestly I have no idea how to use it. Um, today I'm going to show you three things in um, iMovie. Um, for people that already know iMovie, actually editing the video itself is relatively easy. But I'm going to show you how to edit the audio more sufficiently, um, how to make a trailer in iMovie, and of course, how to do like a slow motion and stuff like that. So let's open up your iMovie. Um, and as you can see, everything here, it's, it looks the same as it did before. Nothing's different. Um, so if you want to make a new project, you just go up to new project. And the only difference here is now you're going to see it says make a movie trailer. Um, so you can scroll down here. I will get to this part later. Um, so you have action, adventure, blockbuster, documentary, etc. Um, then you can come come up here and like always, they have the eight themes. Um, we're gonna do a no theme, and we're gonna name this example project one. All right. So you have example project. Um, so uh, we will start with this video I was editing for a class project. Turn that down because it's going to get loud, kind of noisy. Um, so, like always, you just drag, ah, stop. So you just drag the file or files you want over to the top. So if you want to select just the top files, you would simply, like always, take the files and drag them up. select and drop all right um if you want to select the whole thing you just double click and you just drag it um but we'll just work on these three files here because they're relatively quiet okay so so you have this file open i mean you have this up and you want to edit it now but and you want to get rid of the sound or you want to edit the sound because it's too loud so you want to click on it you want to drag it to the section that you want to edit. So you want to edit this. Now you want to um, two finger cl uh, click on your your like your multi touch trackpad or control click with a Mac that doesn't have a multi touch trackpad. Um, go down to oops. There we go. Just double click and open up audio. And as you can see, they've given you a much, much more um, efficient, not efficient, much more detailed audio. So you can take the clip um, and you can make it really loud, up to 500%, or you can bring it all the way down to zero. Um, you can fade in. So a fade in would sound like this if you wanted to fade in. Five seconds. You won't, you won't notice it because this is the first 15 seconds of 10 seconds of this is quiet. But then you can do a fade out. So you, you'll notice a fade out. This if you want to fade out all the way, fade, fade out five seconds or four. This is what it will sound like. So it's just quiet because you know. Fading out. So I had it in the other one, but I thought I'd just show you how to do it. Um, next one would be audio. Um, you can take it and you can customize it. You'll be able to base, ba uh, boost the bass. So you'll be able to crank it all the way up. I'm not gonna touch any of this shit. Um, you can be able to do the uh, reduce tremble or boost the tremble. Um, 
and you can enhance voice acting. Done. As you can see at the bottom, it changes this. So if you want to reduce space, it will, it selects everything for you. So if you're not good with stuff like me, you can obviously just choose one and not touch it. And if you want to customize it, you would just drag around what you want. So if you say you have flat, you drag as soon as you move it by yourself, it becomes custom. So this is what voice enhancer would sound like actually. That's ten times the blunt. We need this one more pot right, 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 right now, now, now. That huge pot. A little more cl uh, clear. Not a lot more clear, but a little more clear. But that's all we need to really do. Okay, six minutes. Another eight to go. Okay, so that's your that's your uh, tutorial on um sound. If you have any questions about it, um, let me know. Or if you want me to do a tutorial itself on the sound, I will. But I gotta squeeze everything into this 10 minutes or 12 minutes. Um, what's the next thing? Oh, right. The big thing. Um, let's see. One is we can, I'm gonna show you the slow mo. So we'll take a section. Alright, so we'll drag this out. Um, and we'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, I don't like camera. Um, moving to a little erratic, but erratic. But I was holding my tuba and I was doing it at the same time, so and dancing, so it was a little kind of difficult. Um, but anyways, so say you want to slow it. You would, as you go, you go to clip, and then you can see you have all of these um, movements. Um, so you can make it faster by 20, or you could do slow motion. So let's slow it down by 50%. And we'll show you what it does. Let's play it in fast motion, I guess that's what we call it. Ten times faster. Using ten begin really fast. Faster. Two, three, eight. That was what we wanted to change. So one point one. So there again, looks pretty bad. Alright, let's put this in fast motion. It just speeds everything up. And then the last one, let's do I was thinking to do that, so we'll just select it one more time. I'm happy that they added these features. We'll do instant replay and select. Okay, so I had to stop for a second, but I'm back. So let's do. Clips, you want to do an instant replay. So you select this by 25%. So it slows it down by 25%. Then you've done an instant replay. So you want to do a Momentous occasion, and this is what you you see. So it'd be pretty cool. Um, so like they showed a picture of uh, not a picture in the keynote. They showed. I'm sorry, guys, if you have my brother there, I'm always whining. Um, him jumping off a jump, and then him landing, and then there was an instant replay of him jumping off the jump and landing. So it was pretty cool. But enough with that. Um, Alright, so this is the big one that I was playing with yesterday. Uh, new project. Alright, so we're going to make a movie trail. Um, so we're going to name this Band Movie Trailer 
one? I don't know. Um, alright, so as you can see at the bottom, there's six, there's 15 types of, um, movie trailers you can make. You can make it action, epic drama, love stories, spy, supernatural, travel, sports, romantic comedy, film noir, friendship holiday, blockbuster, adventure, and documentary. Um, I'm not an adventure already. Um, so you choose that, and each one will have its own specific theme. Pretty obvious, right? Do different music, different setup, different everything. Um, so you're gonna, I'm gonna do documentary because this is technically a. <laughs> you see the air quotes, but I did air quotes. Um, so as you can see, you're gonna see this right here. Um, name of the movie, called the band, true story, winter, and the movie November. I'm gonna be showing sure this night. I don't know if that's how you spell November. Band. High school. Ugh, I'm so excited. It's kind of early. High school. Band. And then you'll see it. Anyway, when you see the credits, it will just read high school band. Um, directed by Christian Rapplin. Yeah, we know that we can just leave all of this. Alright. So, the storyboard. Alright, so. This is where you're going to want to fill in. Now, I'm going to fill in with this random clips. Alright? They're not going to make sense because I actually already made one that I'm, I plan on showing you just for the example of this. Alright? So, you're just going to fill in. Alright? So, almost done. I think there's like 12 or so. So we're gonna hit done. We're not gonna watch that trailer, but if you can see, it's gonna do action five action clips. Um, and if you have like if doing if you're doing like adventure that it involves certain people and you have uh, face identification on, I movie will actually identify the faces and all sorts of different shots for you if you set it up that way. Um, it's really easy, but. Because I'm doing a whole group of people, it wasn't as easy to do it because I couldn't focus in on one or two individuals because I constantly had 50 people in my camera view. Um, so when they, if you watch the keynote, they're able to do that. Um, you are able to do that, but I just wasn't able to do it because of the video I was using. So then after, you're going to see that message that pops up and says your shots are done. Um, just hit watch trailer. Um, these are the list of shots. You need five action, three group, one landscape, close up of four, four mediums, and that's it. Um, so let me close out of iMovie and let me open up. Go to iMovie, make big. Then, um, yeah, I use this isn't my music. I had to, my sister uses my movie. Here we go. I think this is it. Open it up and we'll hit play. I won't play the whole thing because it's long. So I'm going to end the video now. If you have any questions on anything specific that you'd like um, to give me more in depth, and this was just a quick overview of everything, just let me know. But for Apple Fanatic, this is me saying peace.